YouTube, Maddie with Fusaro Fitness here to do a video on a topic that I know has been covered many times by a bunch of other YouTubers, but I still get an overwhelming amount of comments and questions saying, can you please do a video on sodium? So I figured I would cover it and try and make it quick, simple, and to the point. You have two issues with sodium. You have the health issue, which has to do with hypertension or high blood pressure, and then you have the aesthetic issue, which has to do with water retention and bloating. I'm sure you're more concerned about the latter, so I will get into that a little bit further in the video. Back in the 40s, there was a doctor who did a study on using a salt-restrictive diet on patients with high blood pressure. Now, these people may be salt-sensitive, so reducing their sodium intake can also reduce the risk of hypertension. On the same point, you can also leave their sodium intake the same and increase their potassium intake because low potassium can have the same effect but we're not gonna get into the balance of potassium and sodium. Again, I'm sure you're more concerned about the aesthetic issue or the water retention and bloating. So in healthy, active individuals with normal blood pressure, sodium intake should not be much of a concern. The reason I say this is because a lot of people, and I was guilty of this myself, used to focus on a low sodium diet consistently, trying to keep my sodium levels low so I would have no water retention and look as lean and as vascular as possible. Now the problem with this is when you introduce a high sodium meal, you throw off your levels of what's known as aldosterone in the body, which causes you to retain water or look bloated. Aldosterone is a hormone in the body that is responsible for water balance. So if you continuously eat a low sodium diet, your body increases levels of aldosterone, telling the kidneys to hold on to water and sodium. So when you introduce sodium back into your body, it holds on to it, which is the water retention. Now, if you consistently ate a high sodium diet day after day, you would not have any abnormal fluctuations because your body has nothing to adapt to differently. Let's take, for instance, we're working on a graph like this. This is the top of the graph. Using a high level of sodium, this would be the bottom. If you're eating the government recommended 2,000 milligrams a day consistently day in and day out and you have a cheat meal of 8,000 milligrams of sodium, being at a low sodium diet, your body increased the aldosterone, sodium was introduced back into your diet, now your body is holding on to that. It may take a couple of days for you to excrete the sodium, sweat it out through urine, the whole nine, and then you're back to normal. Now, if you were to eat at the top of the chart, a high sodium diet, say 8,000 milligrams a day, and you kept that consistent, there would be no fluctuation. So it's really all relative. The best way to stay away from bloating or water retention really is just to keep your sodium levels consistent day in and day out. Don't worry about salting your foods or canned foods. Yes, they're gonna be higher in sodium, but again, as long as you keep it consistent, day in and day out, you won't have to worry about water retention and bloating. People forget that you do need sodium in your diet as well as you need potassium. So try not to get too sciencey there for you. I'm sure the only thing you were looking for in this video was does sodium cause bloating and water retention? And again, the answer is the fluctuation of sodium levels is what causes the water retention and bloating. I hope that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below, along with any other video suggestions you may have. I'll be sure to get to them. The more liked comment that I get is I'm more apt to do that video. So thanks again for all the support. I appreciate it. Be sure to visit the Fusaro Fitness Facebook page. And if you have not already, please do subscribe to this channel. I'll be coming out with a lot more content, and I appreciate all the support. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.